What's up guys? Today I'm going to be doing a review on the Rode Video Micro. It's a nice compact microphone that fits right on top of your camera and is perfect for vloggers. When you're a vlogger, you can't, it's not really convenient having a large uh, shotgun microphone on top of your camera. You know, you're jumping in and out of cars, going in and out of places, and you want to be able to record as much as possible, as often as possible, and a large microphone is just getting in the way. Straight off the bat, you can see in the box, there's the dead cat and a nice silicone little package that keeps everything dry plus your 35mm jack. Uh, everything looks nice and neat and it looks well packaged and um, yeah all in all I'm very very pleased with the you know the packaging and the content so far. The reason why I chose this microphone over its bigger brother which is not actually that much more expensive is apparently according to uh, most reviews on the internet this microphone has a much richer, clearer sound than its bigger brother, the Rode Video Mic Go. Now you can see why everyone gets confused with these names. You got the Rode Video Mic Go, the Rode Video Mic Pro, and the Rode Video Mic Pro. Here we go. You can see it comes with a quick start manual. Quick start manual is not uh, that in depth, but with a nice, simplistic microphone like this, uh, you don't really need much technical advice from the company. Um, yeah, one of the main reasons I was also drawn to this product is it comes with the dead cat. Now, I actually didn't have that much uh, trouble with the onboard microphones on my iPhone or my GoPro. The only problem that arose is when you go outside, which is where a lot of my filming actually takes place, and there's wind, and you get that wind noise, which destroys the quality of your sound. Now, with the dead cat on, it supposedly elim eliminates that horrible wind noise. So hopefully when we do the test a little bit later, uh, you know, that uh, wind noise is eliminated. Another amazing thing about this mic is you don't actually have the battery. Most pro mics have batteries, and the problem with the battery is a lot of times you forget to turn it on or forget to turn it off. Here you can see I'm installing the uh, shock absorber for the mic. This also helps to prevent any rattling noises or clanging noises that might occur when you know the right the mic is vibrating apparently this works really really well on this product as well I was having a little bit of trouble installing this so I had to call my wife to help me it's definitely a two-man job you have to open the um, like the pinches and have somebody else push it in until it clicks into place you see she's assisting me there okay nice snug fit I'm very very pleased with the quality of the product it's, an, it's made out of all metal, the microphone, and it feels really, really sturdy, and so does the um, cold shoe and the shock absorber. Very, very, very good quality. And see how it, had, how it looks with the dead cat on. It's quite a large dead cat, and uh, I mean, it adds a lot of size to the product, but it's still, compared to the other microphones on the market, it's still very, very small and compact. Plus, I mean, getting rid of that wind noise is going to be a huge 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 bonus unfortunately the GoPro doesn't come with the 35 millimeter jack so you have to purchase another little adapter from GoPro that converts the 35 millimeter jack to a mini USB you can see the product in front of you now I think this cost me an extra 200 bucks I purchased it from takealot.com and it's nice because it's a genuine GoPro product. You know, GoPro products are normally really expensive, so sometimes you have to get the generic versions of them. But if you can, everybody would love to rather have all GoPro products because you know they're really, really good quality and uh, you can always rely on them. So all you've got to do is take your microphone's 35mm jack and plug it into the GoPro female 35mm and then take the mini USB and plug it straight into your GoPro. There we go, and that's it. So there's one other investment you're going to have to make if you plan on using the same vlogging setup as me. The GoPro doesn't come with a place to mount an external microphone. So what I had to do was purchase a hot shoe and super glue it to my GoPro's frame, ensuring that the GoPro frame is still functional. And now I'm able to um, install an external microphone or any other um, external accessory like an LED light, which is awesome. Okay, I think it's time we put the Rode 
video and micro to the sound test. Let's see what happens. I think I'm sweating a little bit. It's extremely hot here in uh, Cape Town. Okay, so first of all, uh, this is me speaking on my iPhone. Alma and I actually film a lot with our iPhones because they're nice and small and uh, you can take them anywhere and whip them out at any time to uh, film when you need to. So this is the sound from the onboard microphone on the iPhone. I'm not too sure how great it sounds, but it's worked for us pretty well so far. But we've, always, we've been looking for you know, a higher quality sound to improve our vlogs. Okay, so let's test now. This is the sound from the video mic or video micro. Um, does it sound any better than it did on the iPhone? Hopefully it does. So I'm not too sure how well that test went. I actually haven't tested the mics at all. Um, and with regards to clarity, am I, are we getting better clarity and uh, you know a better, richer sound from the iPhone right now? Are we getting a better, richer sound from the micro right now? You guys be the judge and let me know in the comments below which microphone you prefer. Um, okay, with regard to portability, it's nice and small. And like I said, the fact that it doesn't need a battery is like a super bonus. Uh, so you just plug it straight into the camera and it uses the battery from the camera and it doesn't drain much juice from the battery at all. Um, the dead cat, that was the main reason why I wanted an external microphone. I actually haven't had much of a problem uh, with the onboard microphones on either the iPhone or the GoPro, but every single time you have to shoot something outside, the wind makes that noise. So I'm hoping that uh, you know that dead cat on top eliminates that issue. We'll test that right at the end there. I'll put uh, in front of the fan, record a little bit without the uh, mic micro, and then with a micro, and then we see if that makes a difference. Um, what else? Price-wise, this microphone uh, ranges between 1,100 and 1,300, depending on where you buy it from, which is I think is a fantastic price. Um, you know, to up, uh, I mean, a fantastic price to pay uh, to up your recording quality and the quality of your vlog. Uh, it looks super professional. It comes with an awesome red uh, microphone wire. I don't know what the technical term for that is, uh, but I know it looks nice and professional. So let's go do that test. Let's go test it on the fan and see how that goes. Okay, it's really dark in here, but. It's that time of the night and it's the best light I can get. How does this sound? Does it sound super windy? Okay, now let's test it with the external mic, the Rode Mic Pro. Does the dead cat help? Does it sound a lot better? I think my voice might sound like a robot, but we all know what that does when you're talking to a fan. Okay, so does it sound better now with the dead cat? Got a feeling it sounds way better. Thanks for watching, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't hesitate to like and subscribe. Cheers.